Okay, in this video we'll just multiply uh, hundreds and thousands and, and this million here. And you don't even have to write these down. You can just write down the answers. Like if you had 4 times 1,000, what would that be? Just write down the answer. Write down the answer. So if you have $1,000, you multiply it by 4, that's 4,000. So I mean, you can think about it, of course, it's, it's 1,000, 1,000, 1,000 and one thousand kinda of like four thousand dollar bills and that makes four thousand right so the easiest way to multiply hundreds and thousands and that is just um, you know four times a thousand well that just has to be four thousand right uh, of course hundred same thing if you had you know seven what seven times one hundred right down the answer it's like seven hundred dollar bills right you just say well that has to be just seven hundred right so what's four times two thousand Four times two is eight. So four times two thousand would be eight thousand, right? And how about eight times eight thousand? What would that be? What's eight times eight? So eight times eight thousand. Write down the answer. Have to be sixty-four thousand. Does that make sense? Eight times eight thousand sixty four thousand. How about nine times seventy thousand? So what I want you to notice is that when we multiply a number that has a bunch of zeros on it, you just go, you know, eight times eight and that gave you the sixty four, right? And then there were one, two, three zeros, and then there's just three zeros in the answer. For this one, there's one, two, three, four zeros. And you just go nine times seven. So it's going to be 9 times 7 is what? 9 times 7 is 63, right? Now, how many zeros do you need? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's, that's all you have to do. Look, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then where do you put the comma? Where's the comma go for this number? You go 1, 2, 3, so tens, uh, sorry, units, tens, hundreds, and then thousands, and it's right here, isn't it? After th every three digits, you have a comma, right? So the easiest way, I mean, if I'm doing 5,000 times 6, you can just basically ignore these zeros, if you like, and just write down, you know, 5 times 6, or, or 6 times 5 is 30, and how many zeros here? There's one, two, three. So put on one, two, three zeros. And so the answer is 30,000. See that? Um, because if you did this by long multiplication, be six times zero is zero. You know, six times zero is zero. Six times zero is zero. Six times five is 30. I guess it would be just fine, wouldn't it? Anyway. But, but in any case, so what would this be? Four million times seven. And again, you know, you just go, you could, you could multiply each zero if you want, four to, seven times zero is zero, seven times zero is zero, seven times zero is zero, seven times this zero is zero, seven times this zero, seven times this zero, and now seven times four is twenty-eight. So the answer is just, it's just seven times four is twenty-eight, and then, then you just add on as many zeros as there is in the, in the big number, basically.